Okay, you're going to need, I'm going to teach you how to make a Lego rocking chair and something else. Um, you're going to need a 4 by 10 Lego piece. And then you're going to need to take a 2 by 4 and it needs to have that little piece with the holes. And then you take this thing and you put in each two of them so you can put them like that so it should be able to move um then you need to take a one piece and have it have two sides so it's like th that and you need two of these Gonna need a two, two of a lot of things. Um, then you're gonna need to set those down, and you're gonna need to take it off again to make, because you're gonna have to know where it, you need it. Then you need to take one by two, and you put one there. And you put, and you skip two, so it looks like that. Then you need to take this one, another piece, and then you put this one back down. So it looks like that. Then you need to take this. So that you can, don't have to use that, your fingers. So now it should look like that. Then you take it and you put it on the back. Now you can hold it and rock it. Then you take this nifty little piece. Put it down. Then you take this piece. And you put it down. That's we're not finished with the rocking chair. I was about to say that's how you make your rocking chair. It should be able to turn. Then you take that piece. It will fall off, so you need to be careful. And they need to be two flat pieces. It has a huge back. I'm worried because I haven't put a logo piece on there yet. And you can find out somewhere else on YouTube how to uh, put the person on a wheelchair. And that actually helps for putting them on there too. Now you're going to make a wheel turning thing. And you need a wheel turn, which is... Which is 12 and looks like that has 12 pieces. It has 12 of nifty things. And then you need one by ones and they should look like that. Put connect those together. Make sure they're straight. Then put it in the center of that. So now this one turns, but it will come off. Just warning you. And it should, this should wobble, and this should turn. Okay, now you're going to need to take this piece, and you're going to gonna need to take this piece down. May I be in charge? Never mind. Um, then you need to take that piece, a piece like that, it needs to be like a little wrench. Then you need to take a piece like that, looks like a little ring, and you put it on the wrench. And you need to take this piece to put on top, or you can put it on the bottom, either.
either way, I like putting it on the bottom. Because it gives it another turn. Like, if they don't need it, they can do that. If they need it, they can do that. And this is also like a bedside table. Then you need to take this piece. should have that piece. should have a hole there and a hole there. And just, usually it just snaps on, but it's being stubborn. There we go. Now you click it on there. And then you need to take a little bar like that. And you need to bend that like that. So it looks like that. That's why I call it the bedside table or a little holding thing, thing that like a people hold. And then you take it and you put it like that. So it should look like a gun afterwards. Then you face it towards the chair. And that's how you do it. Um, my name is Lily. This is B L Z Waters. Um, Beth Lily Zane Waters. My mom's name is Beth, and I'm using her account. Beth Holcomb. Beth Holcomb. Beth. Okay, Zane. Beth. And okay. Her name is Bethel, and this is what it should look like afterwards. So, like, it's rocking. It rocks both ways, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. And if you're, like, making a, like, a classroom, this would be a perfect, um, thing to put in there. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye. By the way, my name is Lily.